Welcome to Gratitude Space Radio. I'm your host, Chris Palmore, founder of GratitudeSpace.com. My sincere thanks for listening, subscribing, and rating this podcast. Well, uh, welcome to Gratitude Space, uh, Shanti, uh, also known as Daniel Banfay. Hey, nice to be here. Good to meet you too, man. I'm glad we could talk today. And you're uh, you're coming from what country are you in right now? Yeah, so I'm in Australia, in Melbourne. Awesome, man. I've never been there. Uh, I, and you're my first podcast, I believe, in Australia. So I, I got to land on the continent of Australia now. I can put that, you know, check that off of the <laughs> podcast. So thank you for that. Nice. <laughs> Pleasure. Well, uh, um, Shanti, could you just uh, tell the people a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, well, um, it's a good question. I, <laughs> I work as an environmental scientist. Um, it's kind of like my day job. Um, they're trying to save the planet <laughs> as best I can. But yeah, I mean, spirituality is also a big passion of mine. Um, yeah, I like to do a whole range of different spiritual practices um, from meditation and gratitude practice, yoga, qigong, um, yeah, and just practicing self-development. Mm. That's wonderful, man. Well, you're, you know, I know you're an author. I uh, read your book, The Peaceful Place. I really enjoyed it. So I definitely want to talk about that a little bit. Um, the yeah, way that uh, Shanti, and, yeah, and the way uh, Shanti and I met is because he, he hosts a Facebook group called The Gratitude Space, and I have a website called Gratitude Space. So there we go, right? Great minds think alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like we're on the same journey for sure. Yeah, man. I was uh, in uh, uh, Shanti was nice enough to do an interview for the uh, website earlier in the year, which I'll uh, put in the show notes if anyone wants to read that. So um, let's just dive right in here, man. So, you know, what are three things in this moment you're grateful for, Shanti? Well, um, I'm really grateful just to be here and to be sharing about gratitude. It's certainly something that I'm very passionate about. Um, yeah, I'm grateful to have this home that I'm, I'm living in right now. Yeah, and just, just grateful to be healthy and, and alive. Uh, For real, man, that's... Uh your home and be live. Yeah, those are, those are great things, man. I'm, I'm going to shoot, I'm going to say for me in this moment, I'm really grateful for um, this carbonated water with lime. It's very delicious. Oh, nice. I usually, I'm drinking yeah. coffee all day, but the coffee pot ran out. So we're going, we're in the evening here. He's in the day, uh, shanty's in the morning and I'm in the evening. So I'm going with that. Uh, I'm really grateful for uh, spending time with my dad today. He came over and uh, we got to spend some hours today. Uh, my friend Gail actually interviewed him and allowed him just to, just to talk. And he loves to talk and share. So I know like how amazing that was for him. So just the fact that I got to be a part of that, you know, making that happen really, uh, really felt great. Uh, and then I also, um, I'm really, yeah, it was just, it was just wonderful. So those are two things. Third thing is I'm, I'm really grateful for these fans I got, which are awesome for this room. They come with these little remotes, even though they're across the room and they move or I can stop them and get the air right, the long airflow. So those are some oh, no. random things I'm grateful for. <laughs> oh yeah, the little things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the comforts. Again, it's the comforts of home, right? What about that? That's just- um, Yeah, I've got like a nice gas heater next to me. Just been pretty nice. Yeah, I'm very grateful for that very often. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, we're, so is it real cold there right now or how's the weather? It has been cold. Yeah, well, it's spring now. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty chilly winter. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty warm here. So I got the opposite going or get the AC on. So, well, cool, man. Um, well, what, um, you know, I love asking people this. So what, if you, okay, for this is good thought experiment. If you were going to explain gratitude to like, I don't know, an eight-year-old, <laughs> how would you, uh, how would you go about doing that? Uh, that's a really good question. I would say to practice gratitude, it's about focusing on all the things that you love in your life, all the things that make you really happy, um, and just 
focusing on those and talking about them and looking at them and remembering them um, and just, yeah, spending time with them. Mm. That's wonderful, man. Yeah. It's, uh, I just thought about, you know, the simplicity, if we could figure out how to, you know, easiest <laughs> way to say it, right. It, it may, it, 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 the easiest way to say it may be the easiest way for adults with, you know, thick skulls to get it right. <laughs> yeah that's good that's good to try and avoid that you know spiritual language of you know bringing things into consciousness it's it's good to keep it really simple yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um so let me this is here's another uh, it's a little of a, a gratitude experiment so i'm gonna i'm gonna ask you a couple of questions and i just want you to just it's it's a one uh you answer with one word okay 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 so when i say Somebody in my life I'm grateful for. Who's the first person that comes into mind? What's the name? My mother. Okay. Now I'm going to ask again. Somebody in my life I'm grateful for. Who's the next person that comes? This is just random popping in your head. What's the next name? My partner, Samantha. Samantha. Okay. We're going to go one more. So somebody in your life you're grateful for. Who's the third person that comes into mind? Hmm. Um... I'd have to say my brother, Nick. Nick. Okay. So tell me about Nick. Why, why are you, uh, why he, you know, tell me about Nick. Tell me some, yeah, something sure. you love about Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, he's my brother. You know? <laughs> oh, well, that's not a good enough reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, I feel like I've got a really special relationship with him. Like we kind of understand each other without having to say anything, you know, we just, um yeah we don't even talk that much but you know we just kind of know each other so well that you know we just kind of understand what's happening with each other without even having to talk and um yeah when we do chat it's it's always a pleasure he's a really funny guy and um yeah i just feel this kind of closeness in my heart you know just thinking about him and being with him mm. is he older or younger I, i'm sorry if you mentioned that already no, no, he's he's younger. He's seven years younger. Oh, you were the older, older brother then. That's that's a big gap. Wow. Yeah. So he must have really looked up to you. I mean, that's a big, that's a huge age, age gap there, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not Are sure no? if he looks up to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, are you, are you, do you have any other siblings or is that, is, you just have a brother? Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah, just me and Nick, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have an older sister, so I'm in the same boat, but, uh, just as having one, I'm, I'm happy. My parents only had me one other child. I, I like the attention. I'm glad I got the attention I got, you know? Yeah. How's your for that. relationship with your sister? How do you get on with your sister? Really well, man. She's, uh, she's, she's okay. like the embodiment of like my mother still being alive almost in the sense that she's just so loving and so present yeah. and, um, yeah. just, uh, just, uh, wonderful person so giving and um yeah uh we uh we we talk often um we probably could talk more i mean but she lives fortunately her and my dad live about 45 minutes away so um you know we do see each other and um she has a, like a nice lake place that she how like she has all these paddle boat boats but boards and like you know she she's like a big she hosts groups of people all the time so she's one of those those people that brings people together and just enjoys um, sharing time with the group. And, um, and she, obviously the gift of her having that space, the lake house and all those, all those things to go on the water with is a huge blessing. So she's uh, she's wonderful, man. And I, and I love that she takes care of my, you know, that she's there for my dad. Cause she lives with him. Uh, you know, he moved out there to be with her after my mom passed away, um, yeah, which was right. great, yeah. you know? Um, so um I'm happy that they live really close to each other because, you know, they're, when we were growing up, it was like my, obviously we're all close, but I was more of my mom's son and she was more of my, her, the daughter, you know what I mean? How that works um, sometimes. Yeah, so yeah. Um, the fact that she can be uh, that close to my father is, uh, is a really, is a, is a real gift. Yeah. You know? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So, um, so do you, uh, another question here I got is, Sometime maybe recently, what you know, if I say, if I so, my question is, can you share with me a story in your life, a story of kindness where somebody it could be a stranger or it could be a friend, just something that you know, you're just a, a story of kindness in your life, 
So you kind of take that in any which way you want it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, the, the first thing that's coming to mind really is oh. seeing my partner and the way that she is with her children. Um, mm. Yeah, I just really love watching her um, be with her kids because, yeah, I can just see so much love in her. And, you know, sometimes the kids play up, but even when they're playing up and, you know, she's got to be strict with them or um, bring them into line, like, um, I can just see so much love there and the way that she listens to them. And we've been doing homeschooling recently with the... Uh, COVID situation, yeah, just the way she's so present with them and um, gives them so much love. It's just beautiful to witness that. Um, it just brings me joy just listening to them or watching them. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. I love that. Yeah. I, I, I think it's uh, obviously we, we can see mothers love, you know, love and care for their children, but you're in a situation where you're in the home with it and you get to be right up on it and you get to, you're so close to it that you can really feel it because it's, this is your home. So it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I love that. It's she's just, you're, you're getting to see this, you're, you're witnessing uh, love, like really pure love all the time. Now, obviously, it doesn't mean the kids are perfect, but you're witnessing what, what is pure love, which is a beautiful thing to be next to, right? And she obviously oh, purely loves you, so there's reflections. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's just so nice to see kids being loved, and then you can see in their eyes that they feel loved, you know? It's, it's, it's so beautiful. Yeah, man. That's, that is really wonderful, man. Thanks for sharing that with me. I love that. I love that. So, uh, what, you know, let's, let's talk about your book a little bit. You know, sure. um, you know, I, I, I did read your book, which I really enjoyed, uh, the Pe peaceful place, the amazing simple guy defining peace within. Um, I'm looking at your, one of your quotes here, which is peace comes when we're, where we want long to be is right where we are. Let me say that again. I feel like, oh, oh. peace comes <laughs> when where we long to be is right where we are. Um, I love that quote. And I was reading that when I was waiting to come on the Zoom call with you. And I was, and I, and I, and I tell you, um, I, I want to be right here talking to you. You know, I, I feel like mm. this is a, this is a peaceful place um, for me. Talking <laughs> to people about gratitude like yourself uh, is a peaceful place for me. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm glad that quote has resonated with you. Um, yeah, that just came to me one day in meditation. Um, it just kind of popped into my head and I was like, wow, that sounds really good. <laughs> you know, I should write that down. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I guess it's that whole yeah. idea of, you know, I think we spend so much of our time trying to get somewhere else. Um, but when you kind of let go of that and just come back to where you are right now um that's when peace can kind of flow in more naturally when just relax into the present moment yeah yeah and that's i mean that's a huge part of gratitude because you're running around all the time chasing chasing something you can't appreciate what you have and you're not in the moment to appreciate it you know um oh absolutely i think yeah one of the things you really realize when you start practicing gratitude is you realize like how much of your time you're spending thinking about your problems and thinking about all the bad things in your life and everything that's wrong with the world and you know um and then you start practicing gratitude and you think oh wow there's another way of being i can actually be present to all the good things in my life and you know spend time thinking about all the wonderful things that i have right now all the beautiful memories i have yeah it's, it's that it just changes your whole perspective on on life and your way of being yeah man that's so true um it's almost like uh you know some people are walking around they just have a couple books in the library you know which is like worry race fear <laughs> you know but you know everyone there is that book in there which is uh being grateful or gratitude um which as soon as you know it's there at least you know it's there which can allow you to take a moment to you know 
that could be something else we focus on for a moment, uh, which can take us out of that place and, and, and enter a peaceful place. Because, you know, when you're, again, I, I really believe it's like, you can't really be, um, if you're thinking about what you're grateful for, you, you can only kind of carry one thought at once, you know, you can only be in one place at one time in your head. Now that could be really fast, but you know, if you, if you hit this, if I decide for a moment, I'm going to be grateful for, you know, like we were sharing these things in this room, that's where I'm at. I'm here. I'm being present. I said the cup, you know, I said the fan, you know what I mean? Just like you were saying the home, your health, you know, looking in, these are all um, things that any given moment we we can tap into. Um, and the more we do it, the easier it becomes and the more it means to us. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful sure. thing, man. Um, and I, you know, uh, I talk, you know, I, I I enjoyed your book and I was looking, you know, I, I love, what is it here? You were uh, saying, um, you know, breathing in as I have arrived and uh, breathing out, I am home. Again, that whole idea of just being who you want to be. Uh, I, I think those words really work well of just being, you know, appreciating the presence here, here I am, I'm now, you know, um, I love that. Um, just again, bring in oh, yeah. anything, it bring, any, any trigger, right? Any trigger, any mantra, any way, to go, here we are, I'm here, you know, here we are. <laughs> so I really, I, yeah, I like that a lot. that's actually one from, is it, is it, I think a lot of people who know um, Thich Nhat Hanh, the right. Vietnamese monk. Right, right. Yeah, You're that's right. one that he teaches. Um, and I was lucky enough to go and meet him and, and go to his, uh, his ashram. Oh, um, wow. In France um, and sit with him for a week. Um, so I feel so grateful for that. It's one of the most beautiful things I've done in my life. Oh. Well, tell me, give me, a, how, so how did that happen? I want to hear the story now, man. That, you gave me like the highlights, but I want to hear like the journey, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you know, I got really into Thich Nhat Hanh's teaching and reading his books and yeah, doing his breathing meditations like that, you know, breathing in, I have arrived, breathing out, I am home. It's just so beautiful and simple and you know, he just seems like such a happy, beautiful man. And then I heard that he actually has these retreats in, in some village in France where anyone can come. And I was like, well, I got to get there. <laughs> so, you know, it took a few years of planning, but um, eventually managed to get myself to some village in France. And um, yeah, got to be with him, which was a real blessing. And yeah, it was quite a magical week um yeah and there's week. a lot of gratitude practice there yeah mm. so let me uh you know i i always heard of plum village and i i know it's in france but when you were you how did you so obviously you took a plane to get to france but then when you, getting to the village was it just a was it just getting in a car from the airport and driving a few hours or it just seems like such the idea yeah, of it yeah. seems so like, you know what I mean? It seems like there should be some sort of horse or non-mechanical just because of the name of the place. I know that's not what it is, but I'm just curious. You're the first person that I've actually, I know people have gone, but it's the first person I've actually talked to about it. So it's just getting in a car and. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just a drive. Um, it's not that far. Um, oh, okay. Just a few hours from the airport. Um, but just thinking about driving there made me remember that as we were driving there, this little kitten ran onto the road and we stopped the car and there's just like this random kitten looking completely lost. And huh. we took it in our car and we actually took it to the retreat um, with us. <laughs> and <laughs> it stayed with us there um, in our tent. And a lot of the monks started noticing it and they just absolutely loved it. and eventually like some of the monks came and just like picked it up and took it off and um then i didn't see it for a while and then i saw these monks walking past and the, the kitten was just sitting on their shoulder of this like group of monks as they walked past <laughs> wow this is amazing <laughs> yeah you wow you you're like you wow how about that just it crossed your path and you brought it in and then the monks adopted it that's freaking beautiful man yeah wow. yeah, yeah beautiful yeah. Oh, I love that. Anim yeah, we could talk about an animals, man. Um, anim <laughs> no, I mean, I, you know, the, in my book, we're, we're having a whole chapter dedicated to gratitude towards animals. And I think that, uh, I, you know, obviously cute 
cat and dog pictures are great, but I, I want to hear the stories behind like the love and the affection with these, you know, with animals. I, they do, they do things that humans can't do, you know, it's just, um, it's, you know, I, I think of my, you know, my, my dad has a, I, I kind of, I adopted a cat when I was living with my father after my wife and I split up and then I, I went on and then the cat stayed, became his cat. And I'm so happy it worked like that because this cat gives him, you know, he's not alone because the cat's in the home, you know, and the cat is affectionate yeah. towards him. And, and, um, and they, you know, it's, it's a beautiful reciprocal love. I mean, obviously you have a lot of love in your life. It's a beautiful thing, but if you're, if you're lonely at home, like that is just like nothing else, you know, it, it, that's, he's not going home to an empty home. This cat loves him. And I think it's amazing that animals can do that. They're just, um, mm. it's, yeah, it's beautiful. You know? hear a bit more about your book. Uh, I know you've got this book being created. Where did that what where did that vision come from, and what's your vision there? Thanks, man. Um, well, you know, I've been I've been writing the last this whole year. I, I, I wrote basically. My mentor said, "Why don't you write 500 words a day for the next six months and just see what kind of comes out?" Um, the whole, you know, the the idea behind that was is you know I, I was just committing to the taking action. I wasn't committing to. I have to have a book released, you know, a, a schedule or anything. It was more of a creative process. Can I dig into some of my stories and at least in, in pursue six months of writing to see what happens. And a lot of uh, amazing things came out of that. You know, uh, I got to reflect a lot more on my story. I feel like I became a better writer. Obviously if you write, you become more, you write, you feel more comfortable writing. Um, I had a, uh, I got to, you know, first I was thinking I wanted to have this big memoir, you know, this really big story, I, because that's just kind of, I feel like there's a lot of really great stories in my story, but I have, there's, there's certain parts that were, that are epic, but they're, so I was trying to like say what little without going into the massive stories. Right. So, um, so, you know, the cool thing is, is cause I, so I had that idea. I started running with it and then um, I started interviewing people you know, and I'm reading their books and I'm realizing, you know, their books are like a hundred pages. And I realized this is, you know, this is digestible. This, this mm. is easy. This isn't a commitment for a straight, this is, I like, it. this isn't a commitment for a stranger, you know, mm. this, this kind of is a commitment for a stranger. <laughs> you know, you don't know who this is. You know what I mean? That's the, you know, I'm showing everybody, you know, like this, this is digestible. This is a commitment. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like we're dating. You'd like to date me? No, I need you to marry me. You know, um, and don't get me wrong. I want people to marry me, Shanty, but, but uh, they, they, they're going to have to court me and date me first. So what happened was my big scale idea decided to go, okay, no, I want to do something simple. I want it to be like a hundred, I want to shoot for like a hundred pages. I want something that people can pick up and not feel overwhelmed by. And because that idea that goes, okay, well, it can't be this epic memoir because that's not what that is. It's got to be mm -hmm. simple. And I'm good with simple because I read, for example, I read a, a book about gratitude by uh, Mark Recklock. I, I had him on the podcast and it's, it's a short book, man. I don't know. I, I read it digitally, but I would imagine it's maybe 50 pages. It's seven chapters and it's freaking great. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, it, it does exactly what it needs to do. Right. Books have purpose. Mm -hmm. Our books can have purpose. Um, you know, it, it does exactly. Yeah, you know, I love that idea of short books. Yeah, 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 it's it's simple. And um, I mean, I I like listened to the audiobook and then I went back and I read it. You know, um, it's actually honestly, I should just read it again because it's just good. You know, mm -hmm. he did a really great. There's so many great things going on there that just made me think. Right. So it's like he did. Yeah. A, he he listed several times things you can be grateful for, which I love. He just went through a checklist. You know, uh, and then he had yeah. these. You know, he had, he had, you know, different steps. Uh, something that really stuck out to me was he, he talked about, you know, some of his clients just can't get in a grateful state. And he said he believes that be, that's because they're, they've got something in their past they're holding on to, some anger, some resentment, something's blocking them that's, you know, yeah. not allowing them to be, be in a grateful state. And I never even thought about that. I mean, I, I'm sure other people have, but I just, it was so clear. It made sense. Like, if somebody's, you know, running around with just who knows, man, you know, demons in their head, if you want to use metaphors because of something bad, obviously something went really wrong or trauma, trauma, right? I would say trauma. It's like, yeah, if they're living in that place, like gratitude can't enter the door. 
because they're living there, you know, or, or they haven't yeah. heard the, you know, it's, it's, it's just, to me, it's just, I just want, obviously I, I don't, I, I don't want to change anybody. I know you don't, but it's like just allowing people to know that you can make a choice. There's a choice there, you know, when you want to make it, yeah. there's a choice. It's not, it's not like, Oh, you got to do this, got to do that. But he's got this really simple story that I love so much. And I've even re kind of rewritten it. Um, it's because gratitude is all about perspective. Um, you know, and, and his, the story, which I, I, I like sharing all the time, it's very simple is, you know, it's about two brothers that had a horrible fa alcohol, alcoholic father. Okay. And both the brother, you know, the, the father, the boys grow up, the father dies. Uh, one brother uh, is a successful businessman in the town. Everyone, you know, he's walking down the street, you know, he's whistling, people talk to him, they smile. He's, he's, he's somebody like you walking down very, you know, just chill guy, you know, nice guy, successful man, you know, and then the other brother, um, you know, he's an alcoholic and he's in not any type of happy state and depressive. And the, uh, the, the person that comes in is the, the, you know, the physician, the physician goes and visits, you know, one day visits the, uh, the successful brother. He comes in he sees the home and he's like, this is really beautiful, man. He's like, uh, you know, how, can you, I mean, how, how did, you know, how, how, can you tell me how this all happened? You know, how, how are you here? You know? And the brother goes, well, doctor, you knew my father said you mm. knew my father you know and then so we have that he said you knew my father then we go to the other brother he visits the other brother he looks around you're like you know there's there's water leaking you know the lights are cracked you know he, there's there's bottles on the ground the man's just in a maybe he's in his own sick and he's like how did this happen you know how did this happen to you what what happened and the guy looks up and goes well doctor you knew my brother i mean you knew my father i said that wrong you knew my father so it's it's true people and the, it was the, let's go simplistically right that's more dramatic you know paul bouton begin with yes he's like we both go to the beach say you and i go to the beach or we go to the beach and people it's a perfect day it's hot you know the sun's out um you know it's sandy there's people around all these things right but i and you you love all those things but me i'm like it's too hot i don't like the breeze yeah. coming in because the sand's getting my eyes um i don't like the feeling of the sand on my toes you know whatever it is, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't even like water, you know, who, who knows, right? Um, but it's yeah. the same exact experience. But yeah. we both choose, we both make a choice. <laughs> it's a choice. Yes. That's it. And I think, you know, 99% of our reactions and things are just happening on autopilot. Um, right. Every day, you know, still with me, you know, there's so much happening automatically. Um, and I think, Gratitude practice is one of those skills you learn where you can actually learn, as you said, you have a choice and you can learn to actually make a choice and, you know, make a conscious choice to focus on something and create a different experience for yourself. Um, and once you get that, it's huge, I think. It's like, wow, I can actually create my experience. I can create the way I experience my life, which is, it's massive. Yeah it still blows me away. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree, man. I think, you know, per, uh, per, you know, perception like that, it's like, it's like a superpower. It's a, uh, it's a key to being grateful, you know, just, to, just knowing that it's our having a choice is such a big deal, man. Um, I, I, you know, I, I like to think of gratitude as like a lighthouse, you know, um, obviously, you know, we, we, we would be the boat and sometimes we're at, we're at sea and things are just really awful and, yeah. um, you know, and it, it, the waves are crashing around and, you know, that's like depression. And I know about depression, you know, um, you know, when you just, you just kind of feel like what's, what's it all for. But the cool thing about gratitude is, is if you know, it's there, you can take, it allows you to take a moment. It allows you to enter the peaceful place for a moment. And by, you know, and that's all you need. Sometimes that's all we need. We need to, we need to know that it's there and then that we can take a breath. And then we go back under um, because you, you got to get, it's like, it's, 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 it's like oxygen, you know, it's like, it's like what you need um, just for the moment, you know? So I, I just feel like I like that thing of just, again, knowing it's there and knowing that in given moment um, we can make that choice to not, you know, to take a breath, think about what you're grateful for. And then obviously it's okay to go back in because uh, it's a practice, but it's a, it's a yeah. powerful thing, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think the amazing thing about it is that to the, you might start with just like two minutes a day or five minutes a day mm -hmm. of practicing it. 
Um, but then the, the beautiful thing to watch is that it starts kind of unfolding. Suddenly you start feeling gratitude, gratitude when you're not even doing your practice. You're like, oh, what is this, you know? Um, and you start feeling more and more grateful like the more you practice and it just kind of becomes part of your way of being rather than, you know, practices you do for a short time. Oh, yeah, totally, man. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, somebody wanting to get started, you know, simplistically, they should just, you know, the most simplest thing to do, it's like, you know, like baby steps is just list what you're grateful for in the morning, just write it down or say it out loud. It's nice to write it down because you get a connection with the writing, but Hey, somebody just wants to say out loud, these are three things I'm grateful for, you know? Um, I think that's, that's a really great place to begin. I can, you know, I consider it like, you know, your beginnings. And then ideally, you know, when I talk to people, I'm like, that's where you'd begin. But if you want to, if you want to make this practice, you want to step it up, you know, you want to make this, you want to feel this a little more. It's just a very simplistic thing of, uh, I like to consider it's called, gra I call it gratitude cubed. So cool thing is, everything's multi, you know, it's dimensional when it comes to thoughts, actions, these are people or things. Um, so for instance, you could take three things like, you know, um, you know, I could, let's go back to my simplistic thing. So I've got my cup in my hand, right? Okay. So I'm grateful for this cup. There's not much, of, there's actually no emotion there when I say that, but let's get emotional about it. Right. Okay. So this cup, all right. Well, I use it all the time. I'm a very one cup type of person. Um, I got this from the place that I was renting uh, the, when I left my father's house I went and stayed, I went and rented uh, this communal place. You know, I, this cup has their logo, so that reminds me of that space. Uh, the fact that I'm drinking something refreshing, you know, I, 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 I like cold things. This keeps things cold. Um, I have memories with this cup, you know. Uh, it's, it's, other people have used it. Or I'm just, the cup's very simplistic, obviously. It's a simplistic idea of taking something you're grateful for and going, why am I grateful for it? Um, let's yeah. get, let's yeah. get a little, let's get a little storyline behind it, a little motion behind it. I love to do this more, though, with people in th in places mm -hmm. um yeah. so you know for example um and i think it's you know all the things that had to happen okay so for for example you know we're you and i are here right now which is cool right so what had to happen for yeah. us to be here right now there's a lot of things on each or one of our ends that had to happen for us to be here you know yeah uh, absolutely yeah. you know a lot and I, I you know my end i can go you know specifically you know i had to have a tragedy with my mom i had to go through uh, building a website, being always traveling, uh, getting, you know, sir, sir, all this stuff, all this stuff. And, and then, you know, when I met you, it was just me looking um, somehow. I don't even, you know, I even, I don't even know how I found your page on Facebook. I, I don't know how that happens. Uh, may, I don't know. I, I could have been searching hashtag gratitude. I don't even know, man, but I had to be on there looking for stuff. I had to be on there looking at stuff with gratitude, obviously, to somehow connect with you. So then I connect with your page. I've, you know what probably happened? I probably was typing in the search for my page um, yes. just to do a quick and your page, your, your name came up. That's probably yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah. So think about that. So just because at some point I, you know, I, I built a website back in 2015 called gratitudespace.com and then I'm on Facebook later. I decide instead of going over here to the menu, I decide to type and then I see yours and I'm like, oh, and then I go in and I see that people are sharing gratitude and then I join your group and then you know, we meet and then you do this, you know, we, we converse a little bit, which is awesome. And then you do this really great interview for my website and then months down the road, here we are talking on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know? and yeah. If I hadn't, if I hadn't made that daily gratitude space webpage, if I hadn't had that, that idea, it, it wouldn't have um, happened either. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, I just, I love looking if this is my, if, if if in the moment a person is grateful, they can look, our situation talking about this, you know, is very cool and very clean, but you can look back at any situation. If you're happy, if you're content and grateful where you're at, you're okay with looking back and going the good and the bad, I arrived here. It allows everything to be okay. Um, yes. And that's what gratitude yeah. allows. So gratitude, gratitude allows you to be in a state going, this is, because I'm here and I'm content with being here, which that's what being grateful about is being content with who you are, where you are. Um, it's okay. It, it all had to happen the way it did. It makes you okay with it and you can appreciate it. And to me, it yeah, makes yeah. life feel magical because all that stuff had to happen. It's connections with people excite me so much, right? You I mean, I'm sure there's people in your life that if you look back, 
you know, if you hadn't gone out that one night or you hadn't met this one person, these little things, when we all start tweaking little people in our, you know what I mean? Like you start tweaking yeah, these little details. It's yeah. really amazing. Um, like, you know, I, you know, I mean, how, I mean, I have a pretty, I'm like, a, I have a great story about how, you know, intersecting and meeting my fiance, but you know, how, how did you meet your wife? <laughs> well, my current partner, um, it's actually a little oh, bit partner, cliche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um, we just met online um, on one of those dating apps. Um, but yeah, I feel like even that is quite amazing. Like it was literally, mm -hmm. I'd never used a dating app before. It was like literally the first person that I actually kind of like connected with in this dating app. Um, and I wasn't really expecting much at all. I was like, yeah, let's just meet up. Um, um, and yeah, I think neither of us were expecting it to be a long-term thing, but there was just suddenly all this love there. And it was like, wow, you know, this is the person I want to be with. Um, so yeah, I think it blew both of us away. And the, the probability of us actually, you know, connecting um, on this app um, were just quite small, I think. <laughs> And the fact that it actually works so beautifully, um, yeah, I feel very grateful for that. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's quite rare. <laughs> I think a lot of people have you know more horror stories about their uh, online dating experience. <laughs> yeah, but I, you know, um, I, I loved your story, and I think again, that's uh, you know the fact that you got on the same time she did, and you guys decided you liked each other, and then here you are years later. I think that's beautiful, man. I mean, y y you know, you you subset you know, say that that app doesn't exist, you guys don't meet, you know, it, it, and, and, and then say yeah, yeah, it did yeah. exist, but the timing was off. So she wasn't on and you were on. I mean, these are all, these are all like sideways type of thing, you know, these little, little things. I mean, my, I, I met, you know, I met um, my fiance on a dating app, but this is, this is what, so get this. So I'm in Plato Carmen, Mexico. Um, you know, she had, I, I'm, I'm there on an extended stay. I, there's a lot more to that story, but I'm, I'm staying there for a while. And a week before she comes, like what happens was is her grandfather dies. And because she was so close to her grandfather, she just needed, she just needed to get away. And she last minute booked this trip to Plato Karma. And she arrives that night in Plato Karma. And she's not usually someone to use a dating app and she turns it on and I like her. And then she likes me. And then the next morning we're riding. And then that afternoon we meet up. That was four years ago, come tomorrow. Yeah, and, right, you know, okay. you know, this very like chance, you know, if I wouldn't have, you know what I mean? Like really the, just the us showing up in this foreign country together <laughs> at the same yeah, time, yeah, yeah. then connecting, uh, you know, and then from there I've been to, you know, I've been to Columbia three times, you know, six weeks at a time. She came and lived here for six months and um, yeah. hopefully we've been going through the K-1 visa process. So hopefully oh, okay. uh, international flights will pick up uh, this coming month and she will be here. So we're, um, you know, yeah, but, mm. yeah, but it's, it's, you know, when you, like I said, if you, if you're content where you are, you can, you have the clarity to look back and go, wow, that's just it's freaking cool, mm. man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm very grateful for it. Yeah. I feel very blessed. Um, mm. Yeah, man. That's wonderful. I love that, man. Um, yeah. So what do you, uh, what are some of the things you think that, that get in the way, like roadblocks that get in the way of people, being grateful. We obviously talked about trauma, but do you, do, you, do you have any others that may come to mind? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, yeah, I think the first one that came to mind is just busyness. I feel like we just pack so much into each day that there's no even space to reflect or do anything. <laughs> you know, people are just kind of in this like running from one thing to another um, mode. Um, yeah, I feel like that's one of the enemies of gratitude. Yeah, like I think when you actually stop and take some time out and, you know, just have a cup of tea or um, sit in your backyard or, you know, walk out into the sunshine or something, you know, that's, it's much easier to have that gratitude the opportunities for gratitude to come in. Yeah, well, that's beautiful. Be what your ideas are there on the uh, blockages? Yeah, um, 
I, I think I, I love what you said. I love you said, I loved how you phrased it. Busyness is the, uh, is an enemy of gratitude. I love that. That was really beautiful, dude. We'll have to, I'll have to like type that out and obviously you'll get in the quote, but, uh, um, I think, um, you know, I realized recently, cause I was talking to a friend of mine. I think, I think there are actually a lot of people that just don't know. They just yeah, have, I, and it's only because I, and, and again, it's only because somebody, you know, I, I have a my friend Lee who I, I love. He's a really good friend of mine. And I was talking with him um, a couple weeks ago. And, you know, when I, when I started my gratitude journey, I, I took everything in New York on the second anniversary of my mom's passing. And um, that's when him and I reconnected. And he was, you know, he was, he told me a couple weeks ago, he said to me, he said, I want to thank you, Chris, because, um, you know, until you came out and we, you shared your story with me and everything, um, I, I'd never even thought about the word gratitude. I never even thought about it at all. Mm -hmm. And I, and, and obviously I felt great about that, but at the same time, I never even thought, thought about the fact that people just aren't aware. You know what I mean? Like it's, and then, you know, that comes back to almost what you said. They're, they're so busy or you're not, you're not in this, you're not in any type of society or place where people are practicing it or you're hearing about it. It's just something you don't think about. It's like, it's very simple. Yeah. I, I like the uh, analogy of, you know, um, when you're going to work, most people take the exact same road, the same streets, everything, right? It's, it's, yeah. it's the same trip every day in and out. So bottom line is they don't see anything in the right and left. I know I, if you take the same thing, it's the same experience. You don't expect anything. You're not looking for anything. So when people are just, and then, and then people have lives like that, you know, they have lives where everything's the same. Um, how, how are they yeah. going to hear about gratitude? Well, how are they going to know that it's even, um, you know, for example, people, certain people's Facebook feeds, they only have political stuff. So their life, just like turning on the news to a certain channel, you know, is that there, all the information you're taking yeah. in is about that subject. Um, you know, well, that's and that's so true, Chris. Yeah. I really feel like, yeah, a lot of people don't realize just how powerful gratitude can be to totally shift your experience of your whole life. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, I, know, man. I, I think if more people were aware of that, you know, more people would practice it. Yeah. I, I think it's just, if, yeah, I think, uh, unfortunately, society, for the most part, uh, I was talking to a gentleman today, and it's like, you know, society, for the most part, you know, people, people don't want to share their feelings, and they don't want to share, they just don't want to be open. And part of being grateful is sharing your feelings, and being yeah. open. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of people just can't do it or they don't know how to do it, or somebody hasn't given them the, you know, given them the tools or allow them to know it's okay, you know, had that space. That's where, you know, with gratitude space and it, like everything that I put out this podcast, everything I'm doing is just to create a space for somebody to have that moment. That's all, all I want to do is, is create a space for that moment. That's it. And when we yes. talk about gratitude, like we're sharing, this is a space for that. So when someone listens to any part of the podcast, they're in the space. I've created this, I've gotten, created the space for them. You know, if it's a video of somebody sharing gratitude, it's the same thing if they're reading about yeah, it. Yeah, that's great. Well, that's, yeah, hopefully we can help get the word out there. Yeah, man, it's, well, we are, man, just by doing it, you know, just by doing it. Uh, it's just grateful people sharing gratitude. And that's exactly what we're doing. It's, uh, you know, it's very simple. And the more of it, there can't be, um, there can't be enough of it in the world. With all the other stuff in the world, there cannot be enough of it. Um, there cannot be enough good, yeah. good content of people being grateful. And, and people yeah, need to absolutely. understand like the relationships, you know, I mean, being, it's so good for the individual. It's so good for you, you know, it's like, it's a very sharing gratitude is like, the, you know, it, it allows you to appreciate life. It's going to connect you with the people that you're close to. It's going to make you feel more connected to them. They're going to feel appreciated. It's just a it's a beautiful thing that is so much gets out of the individual doing it. Um, that yeah. it, it just, until you do it though, you don't know, right? It's almost like you haven't been to the amusement mm. park. How do we know what yeah, the roller coaster, you know, if you describe a roller coaster to a kid, right? It's like, we were talking with kids earlier. What well, if you're talking to a three year olds never seen it? They have no idea what you're talking about, you know? Um, yeah. Cause they have experience, but you put them on there. They'll never forget about it. Or you draw a picture of it, right? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, and I think it's a real gift to offer kids too. Like one of my favorite parts of the day is at every dinner time, we go around the table and say what we're grateful for. Um, mm. 
and it's just so beautiful like sometimes the kids just say you know crazy stuff like <laughs> you know i'm grateful for the poo i did this morning <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah it just it feels beautiful when they you know I, I really see them kind of tuning into what they're grateful for and what what they enjoyed in the day um and yeah i feel like if more parents did that with their kids you know, it's a real gift to offer a child, I think, to, you know, learn about how to practice gratitude as well. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, we were talking about people earlier that don't know about gratitude. You're, raised, you're assisting raising these kids in a grateful home where that's a word that they know and they understand what it is. And that's, you know, what, what more can you do, right? So you've, uh, that's, yeah. and the great thing is, is when they practice it and you're there, it's, you know, you're practicing it. You're, you're all in that space, right? You get, you get the, you know, you're, you're all sharing with each other, which is the best. I feel like it's really nice to sit around and say what you're grateful for to yourself. It's really great to go through these motions, like where we list things. But when we, when we as individuals connect with other people and share what we're grateful for back and forth, that's the most powerful, memorable gratitude there is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah. It, it's the high, you know, if when somebody gets there, it's, you're creating like, you're connecting with someone else. They're sharing who they love, you know, uh, with you. You're, you're there to be able to reciprocal and uh, it creates a moment you won't forget. And it creates a feeling too that's, uh, that you can't have by yourself. You can't do that by yourself, is what I'm talking about. You can do a lot of things by yourself, but you can't, you can't create that moment without the other person's interaction. And the great thing is, is even on video, voice, you can still do it. You don't have to be, you don't have to be in the same country. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I love just reading people's gratitude posts as well, like um, in the daily gratitude space, Facebook group, you know, I love just going through other people's gratitudes and I always get these kind of warm, fuzzy feelings, just, just, you know, connecting with other people's gratitude. Mm. For sure, man. I mean, in, in the situation you're talking about, um, you've created this community. So, you know, um, you're seeing that you, you opened a space up like we talked about and people are in there sharing gratitude. So, it's it's beautiful it's it's a beautiful thing it's beautiful for everybody involved but you being that person you get you know you initiated this 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 you opened a space created a peaceful place for people to share and i love that too i love reading people's gratitude i love it i love engaging in it i i've gotten a lot better when people are like what three things are you grateful for i just go ahead and just list them out just when i read it i just go ahead and engage why not right just go ahead and engage, you know, I mean, cause that's what they want. The people are wanting to put the question out there. They're wanting engagement. I want to engage with them. I'm all for, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. all for people sharing what they're grateful for. And, uh, and the, it's, it's a beautiful thing when a community can uh, talk about that, whatever that is. Yeah. It's, it's a special place, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, this is, so coming down to my last question here, I know you, you got to get to work soon. Uh, <laughs> I got to go to bed soon. Um, what, if you could just give a couple, do you have a couple just, I mean, we, we've obviously discussed a lot of things and it's okay if you want to bring some of those back up, but if in closing, you know, some thoughts you have for people, you know, some ideas for people to, uh, some daily activities they, that you would recommend them do just to assist them in this gratitude journey to get started. Yeah, it's a good question. Well, I think I've covered um, a lot of the ones that I think are really powerful. It's a bit cliched, but I think that just writing down three things you're grateful for is just such a nice, simple way to do it. And as I said, you know, I think meal times are a really good time to have a bit of a ritual around it. Like, yeah, creating a ritual at a meal time, or you maybe you can just have a personal ritual yourself. If, as soon as I wake up, I'm just going to think of three things I'm grateful for. Um, yeah, I think that's that's a really powerful practice. Um, and then I think as you go deeper with gratitude, you can start looking at the subtleties of like, how can I make my whole way of being more grateful? You know, how can I bring gratitude into every moment, moment of my life? You know, and um, I think the real art there is, you know, even when bad things happen, like might be pain or hurt or something happening unpleasant in your life. Um, yeah, like how can I bring gratitude into that experience too and grateful for the lessons that that's teaching me. Um, yeah, I feel like that's, 
yeah, there's like so many different levels to practicing gratitude and really making it an art form in your life. I, I yeah, I, I liked all that, man. Um, I think, yeah, I think uh, listing, listing what you're grateful for and you get, I, I think, like you're saying, when you wait, people just need to initially find a time where they go, I'm going to do this, something that takes me five seconds, right? I'm going to do this. Yep. So yep. like you said, if you just decide you're going to wake up and say three things you're grateful for. That's great. You know, I, I talked to somebody last week. They're like, I wake up. She has a mantra about gratitude. She gets up and starts thanking everything around her as she walks. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, well, that's pretty oh, freaking that's cool. Obviously yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. something somebody would start with, but it's, 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 it's she's creating a habit based around gratitude. So if like you were saying, yeah. if the habit is I'm going to wake up and let's just say three things I'm grateful for, then that's great. That's a habit. That's wonderful. You know, me, I, I get up and I have my, uh, my Amazon device. Uh, it says, good morning, me. And it says, Chris, what are you grateful for? List it. It, it, it triggers, it, it literally tells, oh, it literally cool. says the word yeah. to me. Right. And then I, I come into my space and I have my gratitude journal. So I, you know, I love my gratitude journal. I, I, I get to, uh, I don't do my journal is where it's like, if you're supposed to do it in the, in the night, in the morning and the evening, I basically do the evening part in the morning with the morning. So, the, you know, so like tomorrow morning, I'll finish yesterday's today's thing oh, and yeah. I'll go and I'll specifically, um, you know, I'll go, what was I grateful for today? You know, I'm going to say, obviously talking with you, Shanti, I'm going to say great conversation. Shanti got the podcast, you know, um, I got to meet, you know, I met somebody talked about gratitude. It's got Mark really great. You know, uh, my dad was here, like I said, you know, I, these are all things I'm really grateful for. You know, I, I'm, I'm grateful to have the day to do this, you know, um, but I'll state that yeah. so I can relive, you know, I do that at night too, though. See, I do that mentally at night. I had a friend, Dino Sutter, tell me, gave me a really great tip, which I love to share with people. He just, he tells his clients that when they wake up just to say, today's going to be a great day, you know, just put the intention, right? And then at night you ask yourself, why was today a great day? And that's exactly the things I'm grateful for. So I, I go and go to sleep in a very peaceful state because I list, I think about my day in a very positive way about the things that happen. And then I fall asleep. Then in the morning, I write them down because I want them. I, I like to hear them again. And it's great just to have that notebook there, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Just to place oh, anything, you know, you know, and then I go into what was today, you know, and it, it, normally the stuff in the morning, it's. Hey, like today, I mean, here, let's, I know we're, we're almost done here, but let me just, let me just do this, right? Because we're talking about it so much. What did I, <laughs> what did I, what did I write this morning? Um, let's see, what did I, I wrote, uh, I slept till 7 a.m. That was really good for me because I've been waking up in the middle of the night and getting up just because I'm so, my mind's so active, right? So I was just happy to have a full night's sleep. Um, I got to watch the sunrise this morning. It was wonderful. Um, I get to share a podcast today. Um, I get, uh, I had a great talk with my dad, so fortunately with this amazon device it has a camera my dad has one and we have morning coffee every morning bro it's freaking awesome yeah, i mean i, oh, I see good. we we literally yeah. talk and see each other for like on average at least 30 minutes every morning it's really what a gift you know just the technology and the time i'm like expanding what i wrote here right yeah. um you know uh i'm glad that my dad got to talk with gail i knew that was going to happen today um i knew i was going to talk to a guy named mark and i was going to have this peaceful morning and talk with you um have great coffee. And then I go through a health regimen where I, I would say I'm grateful for my health. And then I think I have a list of people in my health, in my mind that I'm, I'm grateful they're healthy. That's how I, <laughs> that's, that's awesome, my practice. You're, like, you're totally the gratitude, man. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> that's heaps of gratitude. <laughs> I got a lot to be grateful for, man. Yeah. Um, oh, totally. So thank you so much for coming on, man. Um, I really appreciate this time and uh, you're a great guy. So, you know, I, I really enjoy spending time with you. I hope we can, we can oh, do this again yeah, on some yeah. level. And Chris, I'm really grateful for the work you're doing with your website and this podcast. Yeah. I feel like it's a real gift to the world. Thanks, man. I, I really appreciate that. I, it, it, uh, it, it fills me up so much, man, you know? Oh, beautiful. I, I, uh, so I, I, you're, you're allowing me to do what I love. So again, you know, thank you, you know, being able to talk to people that are grateful and share ideas and then being able to share those out into the world is a real, it's a gift to my, I, it, I, I feel gifted being able to do it and being able to be a part of just a part of it. Right. We're just, we're just a part of all of it. Um, doing our part, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's great. Thanks well, thank you, me. Shanti. Oh, for sure. I'm Chris with Shanti saying uh, stay grateful. 
This is an open call to anyone that has a gratitude story or practice that they'd like to share. Just email me at the address hello at gratitudespace.com. That link will be in the show notes. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe and rate us. You can look at this as a way of showing me a little gratitude. Just a friendly suggestion. Thank you for tuning in to Gratitude Space Radio, and we're out.